divorce separation, the marital relationship issues has a huge impact on people in the corporate world and especially on their productivity and how they're relating to people and it has a massive effect on their teams because normally somebody who's quite productive suddenly becomes quite unproductive because they're so caught up in this emotional hurricane of their life that they become unavailable and what I see a lot in corporate teams is people take it personally so they start seeing it that the person doesn't like them or they're not available to them anymore so it then has almost like a domino effect on productivity because the, the culture of the team changes, especially if these people are in management or leadership roles. They have a direct impact on everybody underneath them who sees their leader as maybe moody, cranky, unavailable, not able to help them as much as he used to or she used to, having a change in personality. And so the whole team starts to become a little bit less stable and productive because their leadership's in crisis. I think it would be ideal in the workforce if they had training programs on how to deal with emotional stress and family breakdown and family relationships because so many of the workforce are affected um, by friends, family, relatives, brothers, sisters, uncles, aunts, um, grandchildren you know, who go through emotional trauma and they're sitting at work thinking you know, how am I going to help them, should I call them or the phone's ringing which is distracting them from their work. Um, that they should be doing and if the companies were investing in helping people just have a rough idea on how to manage emotional trauma and relationship breakdown it would actually mean that these people would be more productive at work and know how to balance it better because I think being able to balance the traumas and the emotions of what's happening in your daily life with your work um, can often make for very for much better productivity most important thing for couples to realize is that the impact that they're going to have on their children getting divorced is enormous and all the research now shows that children survive divorce and adjust well if the parents act civilly and behave as friends so the biggest mistake a lot of parents make is they get angry rush off to lawyers rush off to court and start a war and I've had children actually come into my office and draw me their parents with guns shooting each other as a representation when I do art therapy with them of how violent and how angry the parents are at each other. So I think it's quite important for parents to realize that if you create a warring situation, your children are going to become victims of a war between two parents, both of whom they love and don't want to have to choose. So it creates quite unstable environments for the children. And if the parents actually realize that creating a, a harmony of separation and showing the children that if relationships don't work, you can move into two separate happy environments where they can see a happy mom and a happy daddy and create a situation where the family can work together in harmony rather than in such a, an angry, violent situation which then affects the children at school, it affects their friendships, it affects the parents going to work. Like for example, I had one um, wife who told the husband she can only see the children from five in the afternoon till seven. But he worked in the city and usually couldn't get home before nine. So he then had to ask for a leave of absence, um, well not leave of absence, an early half day every Wednesday to leave the office by half past three to get to the kids by five o'clock to be able to see his children during the week. And that kind, so of course he became resentful because it started affecting the impact on his job. Um, she didn't care actually because they were just, she was angry that he wanted the divorce and they were just landing up where eventually got to the point where one of the children actually came into my office and said I don't actually want to live with either one of them I want to go to boarding school and this little boy was like nine years old because he literally put his hand over his ears and said I can't take this anymore you know all they do is fight and all they do is yell at each other and daddy's always angry he has to leave work and mommy's always angry that daddy left and it just becomes this very uncomfortable situation for everybody so the children are unhappy the parents are unhappy the employers are unhappy you know it starts affecting everything you know output income um, promotions bonuses you know the whole life of the family 
is then stuck in trauma rather than moving towards healing because the parents aren't at all.